first point is to have a harvest and grain marketing plan. So fundamentally, who's going to buy my grain? We obviously have historical markets, but it's important to understand when we're talking about grain protection, who's going to be the end user. Associated with that is what is the period of storage? So if it's going to be a long term or short term, what are we going to be requiring? Are we going to protect it with a protectant or is it short term and we'll be able to get away with aeration and fumigation? What's really important is the protectant residues these markets accept. A market such as the EU, it's all PRF. If it's a domestic milling market or a feed market, then protectant residues are often accepted. It's really important to check these before applying anything. It's really important to rotate grain protectants. We want to avoid resistance and the onset of this, uh, particularly for lesser grain borer. And with the hustle and bustle of harvest, it's really critical to plan what volumes of protectants or fumigants are going to be required. These are pretty easy to work out because storage is set uh, a certain cubic metres or, or tonnage and we can work these out prior to the harvest commencing. <music>